Okay, welcome back. Uh, for this example, I want to talk about how to calculate work when you're pumping a liquid uh, from a cylindrical tank, but in this case, it's along the y-axis. I'm not going to rotate it to the x-axis. I prefer to rotate things to the x-axis just to keep the notation very simple. But what I noticed, let me erase this, is on the test for uh, one of those, the universities nearby, um, they just had the students complete the setup, but they kept the setup um, as a function of y instead of a function of x, which was, could be a little bit confusing. So let me draw out what the problem is. If we have a cylindrical tank here, and let's just say it is uh, 7 meters, and the liquid starts here at 4 meters. And we have the y-axis here and the x-axis here. Okay, so normally I would, uh, oh, the spout is right here. Normally I'd move everything into the reference frame that I like, which is making it uh, so tilted on its side and, and uh, your area as a function of x. <coughs> but in this case, what they did was they gave a whole bunch of answers where it was area as a function of y, d, y. So I said, oh, okay. So I tried out a, a few different ways to figure out, okay, what was the, the real answer to that problem? What's the best way to do it? So looking at it now, it's, it's really easy. Um, it's not, not that hard at all. We still have all the basic components here. If you look at it, you have a very constant, well, your, your x always equals, uh, we forgot to give it a, a radius here. Let's give it a radius of 5 meters. Here. So x always equals 5. So f of y equals 5. That's your definition of your shape. And so the area is that face right there. And you're rotating around the y-axis. So because it makes a circle, we're just having pi times radius. In this case, your value of f of y, or uh, whatever that constant x is, is, I'm sorry, this is a squared here, excuse me. Um, that's going to be your radius. So area equals pi f of y squared. And it's going to be pi times 5 squared. Okay, so that makes the problem nice and simple. What we do have to worry about is if you remember, work equals uh, force times distance. So inserting in your distance is a little bit tr tricky here. Um, it's not really nothing to be scared of. So first we have to do a volume problem. And then we have to work that into uh, a work problem. So the volume, I'll do it this way. Limit n goes to infinity, summation, and n i equals 1. Remember that rotation. And it's just the area as a function of y times delta y. Delta y just being whatever hunk you have here. And of course, as we want that to approach zero and become dy. So let me convert. This is essentially going to be from right, if you remember that. Okay, so if we have the density of our liquid equals 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed, and gravity equals 9.8 meters per second squared, then we have 
going back to work, we're going to have 1,000 kilograms meters cubed, 9.8 meters per second squared. And we can do it in, in this format, or we can go right here. Um, let's just put it in the integral format from here. I'll take this one. So now my distance that I care about, the water level goes from 0 to 4. And that's all I care about there. So that is 4 to 0. I still have to account for the distance that the water has to travel to get out of the tank. And so, um, let me complete this. This guy, the volume here, that equals this, which is what I'm going to put in down here. So it's going to be 20, whoops, 25 pi. Okay, that's going to be that cross-sectional area as a function of y. Okay, and then I have to put in a distance, and then my dy is going to be here. So distance is reserved for that spot. But the rest of this all comes out to be the force right here. So it's just the volume equation is that, that, density, gravity. The distance now, how far do things do things have to travel? So if your y equals zero, it has seven meters to go up and get out of the tank. If y equals one, it has six meters, two, five meters, and so on. So it's really just seven minus y right there. Okay. So as it turns out, the question on the test gave one of the choices as that was the correct answer here. So it was funny they changed these two, the range here. This was one of the things they changed here. Um, I can't remember if they changed the 25 or not, but the real key was, does this range here match with what you have here? And so if you can get that squared away, one of your answers would be here, and that would be the correct answer. So anyway, it's a setup problem around the y-axis where um, they didn't do any tilting of the tank. So anyway, I hope this helps. Um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, give me any feedback if you wish, and hopefully you're doing well in your, your calculus class. Good luck.